Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture 65. So, we have been working uh, on the potential due to an oblate sphere and uh, that we took the partial di differential of that and found the perturbation acceleration. So, the equation we have written earlier, this was our equation. Okay. This is a perturbation put, uh, acceleration or perturbation force. Here of course, we have not multiplied by m. So, this is the perturbation force per unit mass. Okay, if we multiply by the small m, so this becomes the perturbation force on the uh, satellite, okay, which of course, I, I am not writing here. And if is nothing but this is the force per unit mass, which is acceleration. Okay. So, these two terms appearing here, these two terms I will combine. Okay and write in a single term and this term will be the separate term. So, if uh, this is from the last lecture. So, if we combine it, it can be written here in this way. So, the, the combined term looks like this and the next term we just copy like this. So, now if the point is, so the case 2, for non equatorial orbit if perturbation this will has also z term as shown here. So, perturbation acceleration is along z direction. Here the z term is appearing in this place, z is appearing, this is another issue. But the force along the z direction, this is shown here in this place. So, now we do one more uh, simplification. Okay, here we are missing uh, one particular part, this is 3g i z z minus i, which is also appearing here, it is also here in this place, this particular part. Now, let us write i z z minus i divided by 2 m r earth square, where m is the mass of the earth and uh, r is the radius of the earth. So, m e actually already the m was appearing, which we have left out. If you look here, this m, this is nothing but the mass of the earth, this is m e, because that is your main body and the under its gravitational acceleration, the satellite is moving. Okay. So, m e is the m e is the quantity m, which is the mass of earth and r e is the radius of earth or the mean radius of earth, mean radius of earth. So, from this place immediately we can see that we can write 3 times i z z minus i equal to 2 m e r e square or 2 j times 
m e r e square and we will insert here in this equation let us name this equation as a insert in equation a so if perturbation then gets reduced to minus three g uh, okay for g also we are removing uh, g will uh, g is present here so let us keep it uh, separately okay because g times m e is equal to mu e which is the gravitational constant for the earth okay this is not the universal gravitational constant universal gravita gravitational constant is g so if we do this so our if perturbation then gets reduced to you will have to write it here uh, 2j m e r e square 2j m e r e square from this place times g times g divided by 2r to the power 4 times 1 minus 5j square by r square u r cap okay. and plus same way here also we replace 3 g. So, this is g times 3 times g 2 j m e r e square. divided by r to the power 5 and then multiplied by z uz. And then whatever the simplification we can do here, we will do that this 2 2 cancels out so this gets reduced to now g times m e this is nothing but your mu e and you remember that n a square is mu by a cube where n is the mean angular velocity and mu is here in this case nothing but your quantity here mu e. So, we can utilize this quantity and mu e we can replace as n a square a cube. So, if we do that we will do it in two steps. So, this is j times r e a square and g times m e is mu e divided by r to the power 4. r square the same way here in this place 6 times g times m e is mu e and uh, j times r e square divided by r to the power 5 times z to z cap n a square a cube where a is the semi major axis of the orbit orbit
So, this is the perturbation force. Okay, three factors we have uh, equated here. So, three is not here in this place. So, the, this we have done a three factor we are replacing. So, three will not feature in here in this place. This is ok till this place this is ok and thereafter uh, three will not feature in here. So, this three will go. because the 3 is also present here in this place and also here in this place which we have already replaced by this quantity. So, this 3 will go. So, here instead of 6 then we have two present here. Okay, so, this constitutes our basic equation which we can little simplify in this way taking out j r e square n square a cube okay, and r to the power 4. So, if we take it outside this gets reduced to 1 minus i z square divided by r a square u r cap plus z by r u z cap a perturbation force. So, it looks now in a simple format which is we can work with. Okay. In the next next step, we will check whether this force F has any twisting moment. So, if we write this R times U R cap and copy F from the previous page, F perturbation which is minus J R E square N square A cube J minus sign already we have accounted here j r e square n a square a cube divided by r to the power 4 times 1 minus 5 z square by r a square u r cap plus z by r u z cap z by r u z cap So, the cross product with r will vanish and it will leave only the term r times uh, this bracket is outside, this bracket is here in this place. So, this gives us uh, j r e square n a square a cube divided by r cube times z by r u r cap times u z cap. u z cap is nothing but k cap So, immediately we can see that there is a twisting moment present on the orbit. That means, orbit will rotate. Okay. So, this will cause the orbit to rotate slash change. And this is what we are looking for. I am going to explore this. Okay. So, this will cause precision of the orbit
precession is a motion where you can see in the case of the top a moving top rotating top it's a spinning on its axis and then also about the vertical axis okay so the movement about the vertical axis this is called the precession so your spin vector which is here in this direction okay and this top is like this so this is going here in this this point will be moving over this trajectory so this is a precession motion and if in addition the spin axis if it is going here like this okay so that means its a motion will then appear as the spin axis will appear to move like this so this is the addition this is called the nutation motion again this is uh, discussed in quite details for the rigid body dynamics in the satellite attitude dynamics control course okay so uh, this twist, twisting force it's a uh, going to cause the orbit to precess and this is what we are looking for and will work it out hence i inclination of the orbit will change i will change and also capital omega this is the location of the nodal line capital omega will also change so even if i does not change for some reason region capital omega will still change so here i not changing this is equivalent to nutation not present while the precession will still be applicable and here uh, u r is the quantity r by r so th this quantity we can write as x times uh, i cap plus y times j cap plus z times k cap and accordingly we can work out and this quantity is k cap u z is okay so this can be worked out and uh, i can write it here itself this quantity will turn out to be n equal to minus j r e square n e square a q by r q so this is r to the power 5 we can combine the term and then this will result in u x cap times x times u y cap so this is your i cap and this is j cap so uh, getting back to the our actual issue this is the direction r so we are looking for perturbation force in the r direction as we have already described okay lagrange planetary equation from there we have described in terms of fr f theta and fa and also we have described in terms of ft fn and fa okay so these are the two models we have worked out so this is u theta cap here in this direction so in this directions we have to find the perturbation force so fr so if r is required if theta is required and fa is required if we use this model this model will use in the aerodynamics but we won't be able to go into the aerodynamics forces and the sun radiation forces perturbation due to all of them because it's not possible so we it it's a massive course okay now already i have exceeded exceeded the 60 lectures while the total 60 lectures were uh, for this course so fr can be written as if perturbation 
dot ur cap so component of the perturbation force in the ur direction so in the on the previous page already we have written that expression so we write it here in a square a cube times r a square divided by r to the power 4 this particular expression this is your perturbation force times 1 minus 5 z square 1 minus 5 z square by r square and u r cap dot u r cap and plus 2 z by r and then what is the quantity there this is u z cap. So, u z cap dot u r cap this quantity is non zero this quantity is not equal to zero because u z cap u z cap is a vector along this direction it is a parallel to this z direction while u a cap is something like this u r cap plus u theta cap equal to u a cap. So, u a and u z they are not the same this is u z cap this quantity obviously this equal to 1, but this quantity is non zero. So, this gives us Five z square by r square plus two z divided by r and u z times u r. This quantity we have to insert, and this quantity is as I will show you. This is sin u times sin i. Okay, so this is the force along the r direction. Similarly, we can get force per unit mass obviously along the perturbation force along the uh, theta direction, theta cap direction. So, a theta perturbation for that case u theta cap a cube this is a cube r e square divided by r to the power 4 and then 1 minus 5 z square divided by r square and this is multiplied by u r cap. So, this will be u theta cap and the other term is 2 z by r and this is along the z direction. So, u z cap times u theta cap. Okay. Now, the quantity u r dot u theta this quantity is 0 u r cap dot u theta cap this is 0 because they are mutually perpendicular to each other as shown here they are mutually perpendicular to each other and in the same plane okay, in the plane of the orbit and therefore, this term will drop out this term will drop out and we are left with the second term. So, minus j n a square a cube 2 z divided by r and u z cap times u theta cap this quantity will be equal to cos u times sin i. This quantity is and quantity z and r all also related to each other. So, here let us say uh, in this expression this I will be using again and reduce it to a particular format or uh, maybe here itself I can write it uh, f r then this can be summarized as minus j in n a square a cube 
R e square divided by R to the power 4 1 minus 3 sin a square u times sin a square i. So, this is the expression for f r that means this whole thing uh, which is appearing here this particular term and this term and uh, this term all of them can be reduced here in this format and uh, this we need to do. Okay. So, I will take time for that and uh, maybe if it, this is not possible in this class in the next class also we can do, but first let us summarize the result here. So, this is f r and then okay, one page we have kept it blank. Similarly, this is f theta perturbation. And if we include this z by r, we replace. So, this will finally get reduced to minus j n a square a cube r earth a square divided by r 4 times sin a square i times sin 2 u. f theta perturbation. So, this is equation B and uh, this we name as equation A. Okay, the same way the uh, perturbation along the perpendicular to the orbit plane can also be worked out. So, if a perturbation this is a perturbation dot u a cap. The same format applies everywhere b a times n a square a cube r a square by r to the power 4 5 z a square by r a square u r cap and with that we have to take u a cap and plus 2 z divided by r times u z cap dot u a cap. Now, if looking into this part, so in the orbit your orbit is looking like this. r vector is here in this direction, okay. theta vector is here in this direction and u a is coming out of the orbit okay, perpendicular to the orbit which I am showing by head of the arrow. This blue uh, dot I am creating, okay. so it is a coming out this is u theta direction and this is u r direction. So, u a is perpendicular to see the, the way we have defined u r times u theta cap equal to u a cap and therefore, the dot product with if you take this dot product uh, is this, uh, with u a if we take the dot product on both sides u r times u a dot okay. we have to take dot product with r u r cap u r cap u a we are defining here. So, if we take this dot product, so here also we have to take u r cap and you know that this will vanish this is u r cap cross u r cap dot u theta cap. So, this vanishes. Okay. So, therefore, this quantity is 0. So, this term drops out leaving us f a perturbation this equal to minus j n a square a q r e square divided by r 4 times 2 z divided by r u z cap times u a cap and u z cap u z cap is parallel to this z direction here this is u the u z cap direction. Okay. So, this quantity is non-zero 
and a cube r e square by r to the power 4 and this quantity as a whole it can be written as 2 z by r the angle between the r vector uh, the z vector and the a vector. Okay. This is the vertical direction and as the orbit tilts by angle i, so this angle also this becomes i. So, this angle between of them is nothing but i angle, so this becomes cos i. Okay. And z by r obviously, we, till now we have not written it, which I am going to do maybe in the next class, because it will take still uh, maybe uh, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. So, this can be written as sin u times sin 2 i. So, this is f a perturbation. So, along the three directions we have got the perturbative forces okay. and next this perturbative forces are to be inserted into the uh, those uh, equations for the planetary motion and once we insert it and uh, uh, look into that we can get the result. So, for the sun synchronous orbit we will work for the sun synchronous orbit, how the sun synchronous orbit can be created. Okay. So, then in the next lecture I will cover that. So, I will stop it here. Thank you very much.